Recently, we have sequenced and compared the entire genomes of both baker's yeast and a worm. The genes used by the yeast, a very primitive organism, are primarily those that deal with the core biochemical functions that all organisms must perform. It was expected and proved true that the worm contains most of these same genes. But the reverse is not true. Since the worm is a more modern creature than the yeast, the worm genes that deal with multicellularity are certainly absent from the yeast. But more than that, these extra genes are directly derived from the primitive genes that provide core cellular function. A larger study reveals, at the genetic level, newer genes are copiously created from more primitive forms in order to accommodate the requirements of more modern and more sophisticated organisms. Some proteins are found in every living eukaryote on Earth. Fruit flies and bats, octopi and hippos, protists and humans. One such protein is cytochrome C. It is found in the mitochondria, the energy generating parts of all eukaryote cells, and without it, the cells die. Experimenting with yeast, researchers have shown that human cytochrome C protein works for the yeast as well as its own. Indeed, they have substituted genes from fish, birds, horses, insects, and rats into the yeast as well. And all of these genes produce cytochrome C proteins that work for the yeast too. But the gene that codes for this protein has been buffeted with sequence mutations over the billions of years that it has existed. Essentially, all of these mutations are silent. Null sequence sections inserted in the gene that do not change the protein that is built from the amino acids based on these genes. But these mutations do tell the genealogy of the owners. For example, humans and chimps have exactly the same amino acid sequence for this protein. It hasn't mutated in the six or seven million years since our lines separated. And our common gene is at most 10 amino acids different from all other mammals, confirming our close relationship with other mammals. The differences increase as we step further back in time and further from our own branch on the tree of life. The yeast itself has 51 amino acid differences from that of humans and chimps and is one of the most distantly related organisms from humans having separated from our branch over a billion years ago. Researchers have discovered another point about cytochrome C protein. It is somewhat easy to make other proteins that serve the same function. In fact, there are more possible proteins that can perform this function than there are atoms in the universe. So why do all organisms on Earth use the same version? The answer is simple, really. We inherited the one we use from our common ancestor. There are sections of an organism's genome, called transposons, that have no other function except for inserting copies of themselves elsewhere on the genome. And there are many very well-known sequences that do this. Two such sequences are signs, or short interspersed transposable elements, and lines, or long interspersed transposable elements. There are about 850,000 lines and one and a half million signs scattered throughout your genome, accounting for nearly 30% of the entire sequence. While they are useless to the genome and sometimes cause significant damage, 
they are useful to our investigations since essentially the only way for them to go from one organism to another is through direct DNA duplication and inheritance. Your lines and signs are given to your children. The parts of your DNA that make up your genes are relatively small sections scattered among other useful parts of your genome, as well as your lines and signs. Like fingerprints, the patterns recognizable in these non-gene sections are unique to individuals. They are similar in relatives and less similar in distant relatives. This is the basis of DNA fingerprinting. And since these sequences are passed down from parent to child, finding the same sequence in the same place in two different organisms is direct evidence that the two organisms have a common ancestor. Biologists have used this idea to demonstrate exactly how different species are genetically related. Here are two examples. Three different identical sign sequences are found in the same genome location of whales and hippos, which are closely related, while camels and pigs, which are not closely related to whales and hippos, do not have the same sequence. The most numerous sign element in your genome is called the ALU. In the human alpha globin cluster, there are seven ALU elements and each one is shared with chimpanzees in the exact same seven locations, guaranteeing a common ancestor. When ALU elements are deposited on top of other ALU elements, the markers become a chronology of development. Very recent human ALU sequences have been used to trace historic and prehistoric human migrations. Since some individuals have new ALU insertions that other individuals lack.